Hey guys, we'll hear from the Ashland Fly Shop, and we're talking about uh, fly fishing the region here, Southern Oregon, uh, maybe a little Northern California for the third week of September. And we're so happy to be here in this time of year. We've been <laughs> really waiting for it all year as, uh, you know, kind of a, these longer summers with, uh, you know, real warm temps that we've had and fires and smoke and everything else. So we're really happy to be third week of September we have you know much, much we're just coming off of our Indian summer we have really beautiful beautiful fall weather the leaves are all turning now um, and uh, much cooler nights and just really comfortable temps out there for fishing so the Rogue River is in is in really great shape it's on the low side for sure so now what they're doing is they're matching inflow and outflow at the dam and we haven't had any any like kind of bigger rains that have come through um, in the last uh, week or so kind of like we had last year at this time so we have rock bottom flows we have uh, about just about 700 CFS coming out of the dam um, and down around Dodge Bridge which is kind of right the midsection for a stretch of river that we real focus on um, we have about a thousand CFS so you can really get almost anywhere you want in the river now and if you are boating and unfamiliar with the river even if you are in a hard boat a drift boat you are bumping you are going to be bumping around so just you got to kind of expect that a little bit um, so the flows have really dropped significantly in the past two weeks and that can be real jarring for the fish so what they do at this time is they drop those flows really low and they and they really start pulling from the very bottom of the dam and it really triggers the salmon that are in the river into spawning and pairing up so we've got really uh, cold flows and low flows and when we go through that transition period the fish that are in the river it's really kind of a shock to them almost and they really move into different kind of holding areas deeper pools things like that so this time at this time nymphing is really probably going to be your standout technique um, you definitely can still get them swinging and we are you know really after them swinging out there uh, but you know you might consider really using tips and stuff like that I know that seems counterintuitive to the to the the water flows but a lot of times you've really got to slow that fly down and really get it right in front of them now they do adjust the fish will adjust uh, they they will uh, you know kind of uh, acclimatize or whatever to 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 what's happening out there and we will see them picking up and becoming more snappy and stuff as more fish come in um, but uh, but you know nymphing right now can be a very very good technique um, at, at this time of year and we are seeing very good fishing good guide reports are coming in uh, from nymphing and uh, and some from swinging as well so very good time to be fishing the rogue we're in prime time here we go so uh, other areas in the region the Klamath I'm getting good reports I have a hosted trip down there in uh, about a week I'm very excited to go down there um, fishing around happy camp area is really starting to pick up with the cooler weather cooler water temps North Umpqua haven't really heard a peep honestly but uh, would be a good time to be poking around up there fish that are in are probably getting a little more active and there should be some more fish coming in now if you're kind of in the into the kind of the fall fall system up there now um, definitely had some inquiries as to that but I just don't have much firsthand uh, knowledge of that right now and really what I would say just about the rest of the region um, is that uh, you know it is that real transition time cooling temps um, and the fish really kind of start to perk up a little bit. So if you're going to Northern California, Pitt, Hat, McLeod, Upper Sac, you're still going to find really, really low flows, but you should find fish starting to perk up a little bit, even more as we go into, uh, you know, later into um, September, mid-October, that, that all starts to pick up again as we start to get our rain and get our little freshets that come in. Um, and that's that's kind of what we see down there on, on an annual basis so you know here we are it's time to go it's fall it's time to fish uh, absolutely the rogue um, is, is still fishing really really well and I'm looking forward to getting in a little bit of it myself so thanks for tuning in uh, great great to have you here and if you have any questions or anything as usual please give us a call and we'll look forward to seeing you in the store